That's a signal, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of what happened to our signal, man? <laughs> we're supposed to get a thumbs up when we're ready to record, bro. We've been out for a couple of years. George forgot how this shit is. Yeah. Anyways, man. I'm back in that weird feeling now of feeling like we're talking to an audience instead of each other. Well, we can, we are talking to an audience. Each other. <laughs> Fair enough. So anyways, man. It's weird to recap the fake shit because we've already recapped a bunch. Like I wanted to talk about new equipment, new setup, but you already know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got all kinds of new shit, which is awesome. Yeah. Production, way up. Yeah. Content, <laughs> way down. <laughs> George is so bad. He's like, yeah, I told you guys to research some shit, talk about it. I don't yeah. know. It just it felt like the beginning, bro, like instead of talking about something generic that – from my perspective, anyway, anybody that used to listen that wants to now just wants to know, like, what happened? Why did we stop? Why well, did we you know run what? this test trial in the middle with some random dude? Drew, I love you, but, like, you're not it. He was it, but, you know, like, he wasn't it. Right, 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 right. I get it. I totally get it. So I'd say, like, you know, I don't know, bro. Do you want to explain, like, what happened? I don't really know what happened, you know? You know you, yeah, know but you first, before I even get into that, before that whole thing, I, I just want to say, What's up? We're back. I mean, it's just like <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. Like again. we're I back. Got, like, those first time jitters. Remember yes, the first exactly. time we Me did too. it. Like I got butterflies in my stomach. Yeah, the first time we did it is weird. You know, it's like talking to my boy with a microphone in my face. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, so going back to whatever, how what happened? I guess. Yeah, you know, I mean, from from I know what. Like it's like weird because I feel like we had, we had peaked, man, and then a few things went wrong. You know, like we lost our our location. To me, that was like the. That was big. We were in our prime, bro, and then there were a couple of things that caused us to just, like, lose value in everything. And the first thing was, like, losing the spot, obviously. Yeah, we were we sacrificing were things. Yeah, and it's like, and it was cool that we were, like, trying to improvise, but I feel like uh, what we should have did maybe was just regroup and say, hey, let's take a break, come back and do it correctly instead of trying to force it, man. Because Absolutely. <laughs> all of those Absolutely. little things, dude, make a difference. Like, you know, we're... We were using Legends, and it's like we're in this big open room, so the the sound quality sucked. It wasn't ours, so we didn't have much That's say right. about people coming in and out. There were fucking, excuse me. Background shit. Yeah, background shit, bro. Like, this dude would be coming in, bringing cases <laughs> of beers, right. walking in the camera angle. And Where was, was that at again? Uh, Legends. Legends. That's right. Yeah. You know, you got these weirdos literally just walking by the camera, waving. We're like, what the fuck is going on? You still talk to Ricky? No. No? I mean, I, I don't not talk to him. It's just like. He doesn't own the spot anymore. I don't, gotcha. you know, so it's, there's not many interactions. Every now and then the occasional, like, Facebook post, because he's a cool dude, but. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what was his wife's name again? I, Erica. Erica, that's yeah. right. I think she works somewhere uh, somewhere close. Mm. But, you know, it was, it was so cool of them to do that. You know what I mean? It was nice. They didn't have to do it. It was just, you know, there's only so much, uh, like, they can give us where it's, it, it was making sense for us. Oh, yeah, of course. You know? I mean, that, that background stuff, that was that was really killing it at the time. Yeah, just but, the aesthetics. Like even now, I mean, it's not like we're not in the fucking Taj Mahal, but it's but we're back. You know, it's ours. We can we can control a little bit what the people see. Like, there's no longer a big ass bulky speaker behind Jay. There's a guitar, and uh, I hope that George doesn't fall to like the side by side view as default. I really hope he's switching back and forth. I haven't heard <laughs> one fucking button. We hooked this dude up with the best tech. We got him with we got him Joe Rogan tech to switch camera angles. This dude just pushed a button and fell asleep. So now you've been seeing the side by side. Show him what the features, bro. Show them the features. Can we get our logo up on the screen? Switch. Let's get some. I know. Let's give the. We got let's seven camera angles. <laughs> let's use our money, bro. <laughs> we got a solid fucking seven or eight camera angles. Psycho through that shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> it is cool, bro. George is probably the horniest out of all of us for this new tech. But I'll tell you what, bro. The, the equipment and the tech that we have now, the software, it really does put into perspective because I'm just going to be candid about it. When we were doing this before, it seemed like Jay and I, like you and I, were just having a good, uh, hey, kick rocks. Yeah, hey, you know what's cool? Just side note. If we ever wanted to, like, if somebody was calling and we wanted them on the podcast, we, just we could, no, we could sync your phone real quick to the roadcast, and we would be able to speak to them, like, if we had our headphones. Oh, that's perfect. Somebody and, call and us. And them calling in would be, would be li <laughs> hey, it'd be calls. audible to the listeners. Yeah. So that's it'd be just exactly like a call on. show. Nah, kind of. But anyways, back to the thing. It's like. It definitely felt like you and I were showing up, having a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, there was some work involved, like, research and booking guests. Yeah. But George was coming in actually, like, working. You know what I mean? Like, his job, seeing the tech and the software we have now. I don't now, know, after today. Well, true. <laughs> but it, it, it lets me know, like, just how frustrating it must have been to try to fucking hold everything together with duct tape. 
the first time we were doing it. If that makes sense. Bro, we had all three mics plugged into one computer, two cameras plugged into another computer that could barely handle it. We were only allowed to record for like 40 minutes at a time before the computer was throwing up We got the episodes errors. out, though. You know, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, there was more. What's crazy is we're paying him a lot more now than we were then. And his job is 10 times easier. Look, he's fun. Look at him. He's smiling and shit. He's smiling. He's having a great time. <laughs> he, now he comes to the podcast for ideas on what he can buy to help his own setup at home. So how long has it been since we... Well, I mean, we stopped. What was our last... Yeah. Before... You can check right now, George. When's the last video we uploaded? It doesn't happen no, exactly. It's longer than huh? two years. Yeah. No, no. That's, that's, that's without with... Jack. When's the... Yeah, that's going to play. <laughs> Um, so right now, no, no, can the viewers no, see this? If he if he does it correctly, yeah. Oh yeah, now they can. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. So, oh man, look at that. Look how shitty the back of that look. It's the alien dick girls. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was perfect. That is wild. I miss them. I wonder if they're still in business. Something happened up top. Oh, you're buffering. Oh, so they could see that too. Oh, should I um should I turn my internet on here? Uh, yeah, so that was you know that was kind of the downfall, man. Is that's where it does it doesn't have the exact date we uploaded, huh? They were like, gotcha. you two are strange. Meanwhile, they're like blowing aliens. So that's it. Two basically two and a half years, bro. No, that's three and a half years, isn't it? Two thousand nineteen. I thought it was eighteen. Did that say eighteen or nineteen? Nineteen. We're in twenty two. That was June. Three and a half years, bro. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, man. Yeah. Holy shit! Wow. How much we've grown. Literally, <laughs> like physically, I've definitely grown. <laughs> I've grown a bit. <laughs> oh oh man. man! So, all right, dude, turn that off. I don't want to watch anymore. Like, look at the background, bro. There's empty boxes and dirty doors and dirty. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. So there was a couple things going on back then that you know we were like, all right, this is getting a little, you know, it's not yeah. working out right. There it's was, not. It's not what we right, we right. envisioned. There was the lo the location was a big one. To me, that was kind of the sign. You know, obviously, I think I think at the time too, we both changed jobs and scheduling was becoming more of an issue. Yeah, you know, we were absolutely bro. Then we were like slaves to the nine to five. Yeah, you know, like we didn't really. We oh, didn't scheduling that was a big one for me. That, yeah, that was huge for you. Yeah, because I was waking up mad early, so so early, bro. Dumb early. Don't ever do that shit again. I know I'm never getting a fucking nine to five. Yeah, I wouldn't either. But on top of that, and then now you, you know, work, yeah, it just now fell you apart. Work like a ten to ten. Then I joined a cult. And then yeah, tell us about that. I mean, you didn't. You you found God, bro. I found the cult. You found some God <laughs> shit, bro. Like you were in deep. Yeah, I, I was. remember calling this fool on a Thursday. He's like, "All right, I gotta hang up at seven o'clock for the Sabbath for forty eight hours, and I can't open my eyes until Sunday afternoon." I'm like, "What no. the fuck you talking about, bro?" <laughs> no, legit. Like, uh, it was actually, you know, it, it, it's just that aspect of life that you know you're tr always trying to fulfill that spiritual side and. Until you experience things like that yourself, you're just like hearing shit. You know, you don't right. really know. You don't know what it's like. So I had to go experience that myself, and I, I was I ended up joining a pretty conservative, strict uh, Christian sect church. Um, but all those people, I still love them. Shit. You know, whatever. Um, Listen, I, just wasn't for me after yeah. a while. Like some certain things didn't make sense, and I'll never talk shit about them. Um, no, nah, but I but, mean, at the end of the day, like your lifestyle, shit has to fit your lifestyle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I'm all over the place though in my lifestyle. Like I, you know, I'm I'm either black or white at any given time, you know. So it's kind of like me and dieting, you know. It's or me and really anything. I'm either all in or I'm not doing anything. Ooh. So yeah, no, um, because I know a couple of days ago you were talking about eating healthy and shit. You got the fruit for breakfast. Right now I got McDonald's. Showed up. <laughs> this guy's got six burgers. I didn't buy the cheeseburgers. Desk I'm not joking. That's one thing that I can say. I mean, it hasn't been crazy yet, but I'm proud. I'm on like day. I'm on like my third week like of day three. <laughs> no, no, I'm on like the third week of, of being conscious of what I'm. Ha I'm down eight pounds. You know, it doesn't seem like much, but it's. It hasn't been a huge change. So the fact that I made small changes, man, and it's getting this result, it's very sustainable. You know, like I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not doing keto. I'm really just monitoring calories. It's all yeah. it is, man. And you know what? In all honesty, you, you probably suffer from the same shit that I do that everybody does. It's like that one time you mess up, then like it's all bets are off. Mm. Or if you're drinking. Well, that's the thing too, man, is I'm, you know, I have a health coach. I hired a health coach. Basically, the way I look at it is, you know, if I'm going to- Like a nutritionist? A nutritionist, yeah. 
So I, I spent a lot of money on stupid shit. And I finally came to the realization, like, hey, man, if I, I'm blowing all this money, bro. Let me spend money on something that is going to mean something Help that's you. important right, to me. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that was actually a big focal point of things that we talked about was, you know, and she made it very clear to me. And she's just like, hey, Josh, her name is Megan, by the way, Megan Davis. She's dope. I, I can link you up with her. Smart Green customer. Um, you know, she made she really tried to get it through my head. Like, listen, bro, don't because what would happen is she would check in on me in a couple weeks and like I'd be ashamed. I'm like, oh, I went off the rails. I fucking started eating all this bullshit. I gained four pounds back. I'm not going to answer her calls. Yeah. She's like, bro. I'm not going to answer her calls. Dude, that's what I was doing, you know? And finally, yeah. I, call, I called her back, and I'm like, all right, let's get back on track. And she's like, bro, here's what you need to understand. If you have a slip-up, like, think about, always think about where you're at. You know, all right, you're down 12 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, you just went off the rails today. Don't think that you have to sacrifice the whole well, week 12 now, pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, don't go back. Yeah. Like, just be like, all right. I fucked up. Go back on track. Yeah, get back on track. You know what I mean? So it did two things. It made me, for some reason, like it's it's easier to stay disciplined now, almost like knowing that I'm not worried about the fuck up is making me fuck up less, if that makes any sense. Absolutely. You know? And we have, you know, like I check, she checks in with me once a week. It's like, it's going well. I mean, it's easy to say it's only a few weeks in. Yeah. But it's something about this time feels a lot different, you know? Because I'm able to resist temptation. Bro, dude, check this out. Day three, if I was ever going to fucking go, implode it was day three yeah so like day you know the Were first like few days uh, yeah, the, fir- the first few days is like it's tricky you know what i mean like you got these bad habits yeah you're craving all the sugar you want to eat this bullshit so like and i'm out you know like a couple of days a week i play poker i booze you know and i come home pretty tipsy yeah so like i'm good all day right i eat good all day i come home i'm like nice i'm gonna come home and eat healthy i don't grub hub taco bell or do any of that stupid shit i get home usually there's like some dinner made from or like earlier, but the kids yeah. were hungry that day. They ate everything. I'm like, damn, okay. The, the chicken and veggies is not an option anymore. Now, I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some cereal. Well, like the good cereal. I, well, when I say cereal. There's very just, few that are good cereals. Well, no, I, I buy um like uh, dehydrated fruit. Magic Spoon? I'm, I'm, no, fuck that. It's just gross, dude. <laughs> Every podcast gross. sponsors Magic Spoon, too. I'm anti-sponsoring. Man. I'm oh, slandering so it. so disgusting. It's Don't the, ever buy Magic Spoon. Remember you bought it. You're like, oh, I'm going to yeah. try this when I get home. I'm I like, bought like nine boxes. I'm like, it's the worst fucking cereal ever, bro. And all these people Ugh. and YouTubers advertise that shit. And they're like, you can't. It's like eating dust cardboard. Cardboard dust. Yeah. Asbestos. If asbestos had a taste, it would be that. But let me get back to this, right? So uh, so I come home, no chicken and veggies. I'm like, all right, let me do this cereal. I grab the, uh, you know, the granola, the dried cranberries, cut yeah, up yeah. a banana. Oh, I I, there you a, go. Yeah. yeah I put that shit in a bowl. You know, it kind of gives you the, yep. the tricks you. Put it in the bowl, open the fridge. No fucking milk. I'm like, <laughs> got the ham. No I'm burger, looking, I, bro. I'm looking around. What's on? Hey, what's on the fucking stove? There was no empty food carton of milk. Ate. No, guess what? my girl. They went to fucking KFC and there's chicken littles and oh, famous bowls on my Nancy. stove. I'm like, I can just heat this up right now. Yeah, I can just heat this up, yeah. bro. Nothing's working out. You're I'm like, done. God, is this a sign? Should I end it? Like, is this a shit? sign, bro? I don't you, know. Are you how. talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I did it. So I end up fucking just like chugging water and going to sleep. Yeah. And that was probably one of the proudest moments I had, like nutrition or diet wise, in a while. Ooh, that's tough, man. Congratulations. No, yeah. I know that's tough. It was fucking Especially tough, when you're bros. hungry. I, especially when you're drunk, bro. Oh, you were drunk too? Damn. There, fucking stumbling. And I'm like, yo, the chicken little's just, there's nothing between this little aluminum wrapper stopping me from oh, housing that thing. Right I now. 150% would have taken the easy route. I know yeah. I would have. Or it's like, you see me, like, even at, um you know, we go to La Foyer and play, bro. Like, I'm not ordering the bullshit anymore. And they have everything, bro. Right, they got yeah. the buffalo mac and cheese, the desserts, you know? I just fucking, even my booze, bro, I don't mix it. I try to, hey, three weeks in, you know. Baby steps, that's, that's all it, you can do, right? Yeah. That's it, man. So anyways, yeah, that was the side story. No, I, I, I can relate to all of that because I go through, like, I feel like I go through that cycle. And, I'm, and it's horrible because, again, because I'm so black and white. And if uh, if I'm not on, then I'm just off. But yeah, yeah. So that was uh, those are a couple of things. Obviously, fucking going back to what happened on the podcast, the location hurt us. The the lack of schedule hurt us. Yeah. And I think you know that those two things, and the fact that again, man, I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it, bro. A big thing that was causing like inner turmoil was just the the lack of. First of all, we, we have were, inner we were turmoil. Broke then. Yeah, I think so. We were broke then, and the fact yeah. what I'm saying is turmoil, meaning like. I think he got to a point where it was incredibly frustrating for George because, again, he was doing the most Poor work, George. and it, we just, like, it wasn't... We were asking him to to do almost the impossible. You know, like, always rec- asking for better production, 
better this, better edit it, bro. Think yeah, he doesn't even know how to plug in this a monitor. This motherfucker used to. Yeah, he's actually. <laughs> it's crazy that I'll tell you what. We'll give him a quick plug because his astounding designs is web. I feel like anything web based. Oh, he's incredible. That's at. him all day. But if you need to SEO, hook some shit up, whatever. forget it, bro. AV shit. No, yeah, the guy can't. Absolutely. Do shit. But you should have seen him once. I sat him in the chair. He was a wizard, clicking shit and making it better. I was like, oh, all right. You just once I turned the computer on for you, you're, <clears> you can run away with that shit. Um, <laughs> but no, you get what I'm saying, like. Like he was actually doing the work. Think about it, bro. Right now, we he's doing shit. <laughs> Yo, he used to have to take home an audio file and a video file. I know, and play match them, them simultaneously. Up. Pause. Put it. editing. Oh yeah, we used to have a clap. We used to need a clap, bro. Hey, but you got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> we we used to have to clap, so he would be able to hear the clap, see us clap, and then sync the video up. And our <laughs> hey. our hardware was so shit. That, like, the video would always slow down after a while. <laughs> yeah. So he'd have to, like, clip out or slow down the audio for a second, let Bro, it sync up again. I remember edit, trying to edit myself. I, I was like, oh, yeah, this is not going to be a, uh, you know, big deal. Like, oh, five God. hours later. Yo, I'm dude. only, like, 25 minutes <laughs> in. You know what? <laughs> like, the what first the time we edited, I remember the first episode, I took and we were using, like, Audacity or yes, something. Yes, Audacity. That's right. Bro, and <laughs> I, I take home to edit. And I was doing this, George. Every one of these, <clears throat> I was editing out. Every, yes. Yes. Like, and like you know, like so you don't have to, you know. People, when we talk, we don't realize how much we say things like, um, like, or, like, um, yeah. uh, we're not perfect like, orators. Like, yeah, what's that? We're not perfect orators, speakers. You yeah, know, I know like, what that word means for sure. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, well, why'd you say what's that? You didn't hear me? <laughs> no, nah, I know what it means. <laughs> orators. <laughs> Where were we Wait, going with that? Uh, no, so it was just like that. That was a big factor. I mean, because real, I could feel. That he wasn't invested as as us, you know what I mean? Like in a weird way, emotionally. Like he put in a lot of time and effort into it, but it was almost like it was becoming a job and a nuisance. Where to us, it was still a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Am I right? Am I wrong, George, for saying that? He's nodding. Yes. We He's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, we got to get him a little. You know, Mike. That's just like like you know Joe Rogan. I, I said like a million times. I think I think he just didn't appreciate the opportunity back then. <laughs> <laughs> the ungrateful Polak. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we were talking about having a fucking cookout? <laughs> we're like, hey, we're going to go to Goddard Park, have a big fucking J2 podcast cookout. <laughs> I think we might have gave... All George got out of that entire first round of the podcast was like some vegan chicken dumplings. Oh, hey, that was a good night, though. That was banging. Shout out to Jenny. Yeah, absolutely. Jenny Cosby, she, the go for that. She actually introduced me to like this whole... Fingers. Look at his fingers working that game pad, baby. I actually went to that restaurant, too. Plant City? Um, No, the... the Chink place that she went to. <laughs> you can't oh, say man. chink, bro. Why not? I guess you can, but all right, we're gonna get some backlash. Shout out to <laughs> Michelle Chin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it with all, with all <laughs> respect you and much don't love. Spit on the equipment, I, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get you like a. I don't mean like it offensively. Um, what was that place called? I forgot. Anyway. I thought it was Plant City. No, it was the. Uh, pretty sure it's Plant City. Wasn't it a Chinese joint? She, she brought Chinese food. <laughs> it was vegan food. You don't have both, bro. You got vegan food that specializes in one thing. That was all Chinese food. You don't just go to a Chinese restaurant. Remember when it came in? It came in I, all like the little. I know it was like Asian style food, but you don't. Veggie fun. Veggie fun. Okay. That's right. See? I'm wrong, bro. How did, you, how did you know to look that up if you didn't know the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love when Jay, like. So Jay is by far the less tech savvy of the three of us. <laughs> it's not even close, bro. George and I go on for about 20 minutes on why a piece of equipment doesn't work. And then Jay sends me a text on the side. So why do we need that adapter again, bro? <laughs> and it's like, I don't, I don't shit, even, man. I don't even know how to say this without it coming across disrespectfully. Well, he's about to disrespect me right now. Why? Yo, but I, it's like sometimes I feel like I, I don't even understand the technology enough to simplify in a way that you'd understand, if that makes sense. Damn, that was like a shot. You just they, a I shot don't mean me. for it to sound like a shot, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I it's know. It's like, you know how when you I know understand you're trying to get across that yeah, I don't like, understand shit. No, but it's like, you have to really know something to teach it. Right. You know, and sometimes, like, I only know that it doesn't work because I can intake the info, but I can't really articulate it back to you. If I give this to George, will he pour me some DC? I don't know. You have to ask him. But I'm, or should I do it myself? I feel so risky <laughs> pouring shit over there, bro. We just got like a fucking small. Kia. Hey, we should set up we like a, a little. Small thank you very worth. much. Whoa, chill out, bro, bro. Damn, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, pour so much fucking. I soda, literally bro. poured like uh, this in my last. We got like a small Kia's worth of hardware. Oh, God, I gotta like dunk. 
We should put a tip cup up. <laughs> tip George? Yeah. Was he pours our fucking DC? Nah, bro. At next week, we got to start paying him. Why would we tip him now? Oh, next week? <laughs> Is it by- <laughs> you didn't hit record? No, imagine. <laughs> That would be great. So, man, it feels fucking awesome, actually, to be to be back to see. I haven't, George. When's the last time I saw you, like in person? Yeah, it's been a long time. We did. Wow, that sounds so sad. We did. It doesn't take much though. Oh think yeah, about you're it. right. Right inside the poker room. That's right. That's First right. time you guys seen each other in years. You've already smoked together. Went to Walmart. Drank together and ate cheeseburgers together. We did bro. eat cheeseburgers. We ordered the uh, we got the meal deal for the che- six cheeseburgers. <laughs> well, how did it go? It's like, hey, we need four burgers. Oh, you're getting some for Josh too? <laughs> okay, we need six burgers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else? What, what what else happened with uh, yeah, I think that I th- and then I think the final straw was so bad. Um, juggling all of that shit where it was turning into like more work than it was than it was fun. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, that between juggling the schedule and especially you working so early, it just come to a point where we're like, hey, man, it's not worth it. But we're back now. Well, there. hold on, hold on. We can't talk about, uh, we can't skip the the interim, you know? Yeah. Like, cause they, and there was a time where, you know, I wanted to start back up. You just couldn't, you know, like you had a lot of your spiritual shit and it's like, yep. you, you yep, couldn't yep, have yep. them see you on the internet. Yeah, I didn't want to be like cursing after and everything. I was like, just a different person. Altogether, were you were you a different person? Or um, were you? Did you have to portray a different person to the people no, around you? You know what? So that, that, that's that, what bothered me. It was like it, in private, you were still joking and laughing with me the same you were, but you couldn't have people see that, and that bothered me. No, oh, why, why? Why would that bother you? <laughs> well, because I've never known you as uh, I've never known you as being like fake. Oh, okay. You know, right. so yeah, like, you just well. Here, first me out, he hear disrespects me, me. Now he's calling me, me fake. It's like your your Christian rube. <laughs> yeah, they had to. You couldn't let them see the inappropriateness and the things you say and the curse words, but you were still having those conversation and jokes with me. So it's like, I know that's who you truly are, but you can't, if you can't be open yeah. and, and honest with the people that are supposed to care about you, fuck them. You know what I mean? Like, it's no, not, no, no. It's so not real h- care about you. Here's, here's the reality. Fuck all those it. Christians, bro. Yeah, I know. I hate them. Fuck no. Um, Get in. I love Christians. I know from, from the outside perspective, Christians, it, it looks, religion. It, lo- it looks, it looks fake. It looks like that. Um, but I was actually aspiring to be a certain way. Uh, it's kind of like aspiring so to lose weight. Bad, bad influence? No, well, no, 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 no. That's a terrible analogy because what you're saying is like Li- life if is you're bad aspiring influence. to lose weight. Yeah, that would be the equivalent of me going to my health coach and being like, "Yeah, I've been doing great salads," but with you eating all these burgers and just not sometimes that happens. It. No, that doesn't happen. I'm just honest with you. No, her. I'm not saying it doesn't happen well, with you. I'm saying that happens with people. That, you know what I'm saying? They, so then they don't want to. I feel like if you're truly aspiring, yeah. though, mm-hmm. you can't lie to yourself. And when you at, when you do that, you're only lying to yourself. It's all it's all about comfortability. Put it put it this way. So like it's just like uh, you know I, I come from a very violent background, right? We we know that. Um, yeah, you I, I aspired not to be that way. Like I don't I don't I don't want to be violent. I don't want to be. I don't want to get in fights. I haven't been in a fight in probably about ten years. Uh, you know I, that's not what I want to be. That's not what I want to be about. So if somebody says to me, "Wait a minute, Jay, I knew you back you know when you were you know twenty years old or something," that's not you. I'm like, well, you're right. It's not me, but I'm trying to change. Like, so that's what it was. I was trying to change. I, I, comfort, comfortability wise, I always feel comfortable in a confrontational, sarcastic, cursing, drinking, smoking environment, like a very man, you know, brotherhood type environment. Yeah, but if I always you, feel if comfortable. You're trying to change from that. What yeah. do you stop doing? Because like, like, I'm not trying to be fat anymore. Yeah. So when you offer these, me these burgers, I don't want to eat them. I'm not going to eat them. Yeah. Whether I'm telling my health coach or not. But sometimes you do, just because that's who you, uh, you know, that's what you know. That's where you're comfortable, right? You cheat sometimes, not okay. because you want to, but just you because, it, it, just because you say you're Christian or whatever, so does mean that automatically you're a whole different being. You're just gotcha. aspiring to be something different, better. So, um, what, 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 in my viewpoint, better. Um, that's what it was. Where I'm comfortable, that's a whole different, you know, st- mm-hmm. you know, whole different perspective. But yeah, like in in order to, not, I shouldn't say in order to, but if if you're if you're aspiring to be a you know a Christian following Scripture and stuff like that, then you need to actually not just talk about it. you got to you got to walk the walk also. So sometimes, whether it becomes you know whether it's natural, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's natural for you or again, not. Dude. Whether it's natural for you or not, like you, you just have to walk the walk, and that, eventually that becomes habitual, 
You know what I'm saying? So like you're actually putting action to words and so it wasn't like it wasn't fake. It was right, right, okay. I, I actually still believe those things. I, I believe in certain things. I'm still torn with uh, a lot of the stuff that I've learned through that experience. Um you this know. is where he tells us he can't do the podcast because he's Christian again. This is my last episode, guys. <laughs> All right. I guess I kind of get it. You know, it's hard for me to to, to differentiate the wanting yeah, because to you, live a certain way. The way you know me. Right, right. Versus, no, it's not even the fact that I know you. It's the fact that. It comes know, off were, very genuine. Were, yeah, you were still living that way and being genuine with me. But it was like, hey, I can't do the podcast because I can't have other people see me that way. Well, let me ask you, was I really living? Like, there were certain things that we would talk on the phone. We weren't hanging out much, right? Because I couldn't, I, I didn't necessarily. No, true. You're that, and that's that's definitely something that I'm realizing as I'm speaking about it now. Yeah. Is I'd invite you out a lot and you actually wouldn't come out. You're like, right. oh, I can't during these hours. I'm doing this. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you were just kind of slipping and falling into those inappropriate jokes and cursing yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. that's that exactly what it is. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm glad you came back to the dark side, bro, because we missed you. The podcast wouldn't be the same without you. Well, you know, to t- again, to tell you the truth, Fuck I, Jesus, I, I, I'm still <laughs> interested in scripture. I'm still, in, you know, the whole spiritual everything that all that stuff still interests me, especially when it's tied to science, like that stuff. I'm, really, I'm all for that. Yeah, but it's, um, I don't think you're going to hell for having a sense of humor. That's a whole different conversation in and of itself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that. What did you do over that? Like, I because we weren't hanging out. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, we, we I, were talking here and there, but somebody's fucking come down here, bro, in this studio. Studio is off limits. Um, <laughs> you don't see I the mean, red light. Should I get an on-air <laughs> sign, bro? Yeah, that's what I was saying. The red light. For the record, I mean, like, where where are my basement, guys? I know you couldn't tell. It looks like a fucking world class studio up there with the um, likes of Joe Rogan and the Jay Rogan experience. The Jay Rogan experience. But uh, no, we're just in the basement. It's just pimped out. Um, yeah. So what I did was I really. If you remember, I mean, not to take credit or pat myself on the back, but I'm the shit. Uh, the podcast, you know, like I reached out to you and said, hey, let's do this. I want to do this. It's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. So when we stopped, that that want and the need to do it didn't go away. You know, right, obviously right. in an ideal situation. Then you got Andrew? With you. Right. Well, Drew. Yeah. I don't You call him Andrew, but his name is actually Drew. Oh. Um, I never corrected you, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah, you know, a little time went by and I was like, yeah. hey, man, you know, we're really ready to get this thing going. And. At the time, like you said, you know, you were being true to your your beliefs and the, the path you were choosing to to walk. So you just couldn't do the podcast. So I said, All right, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna sub you out for like a witch version of you. And that's what happened. You know, I <laughs> just kidding, Drew. I love you. <clears throat> so I bought my boy Drew, you know, he was down. Yeah. And where's he at? We what? had we had a, a pretty consistent spot for it, so that was good. Yeah. We we had somebody else that was willing to do what George does as well. Um, you know, and he kind of brought some new ideas to the table. And we were, we were rocking, bro. Our first episode, I think, went really well. George, you could pull them up. You'll see the two like with the white guy instead of Jay. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, they went pretty well. We had fun. The first one was just him and I. I think we made it through three episodes. And I don't like turning around like this. Yeah, I know. Soon we'll get a TV here for you, bro. Yeah, see, we got the cool you know, cool little intro. Shout out to Ant. He showed us how to do that. Who was that, Aaron Ant? Call. Ant, Doug got on him. You know him. Uh, one of my best friends, man. You know, so we had like this was an office that I was using for work. My boss was like, "Hey, you can use this anytime for the podcast." I'm like, "All right, cool." So that's what we were doing. You know, like we have a nice little plant on the table with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. were um, we were about that life. Look at the J two cups. Hey. Um. So we did. We did a couple of episodes. You know, we had a guest after that. We had another guest after that. It went good, and we were like picking up steam. Yeah. COVID. And then COVID happened after. Wait, our COVID would actually help, wouldn't it? No, because everybody's COVID. home. <laughs> COVID happened after our third. Nobody wanted to come around anybody. You know, remember oh, in the as beginning as stages of Coleman. Yeah, like we didn't want even him and I. We were just like, hey, I think those are all excuses. Together. Um, you know, you could look at it that way. But remember, bro, like <laughs> we've never lived through anything like a world pandemic that shut down the country like that. All right. So there were a lot. Calm of, down, Fauci. A lot of uh, there were a lot of questions and concerns, and we tried doing like one or two episodes digitally. You know, like via yeah. Zoom. Virtually, the stripper chick say. was a good episode. Uh, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, she's Why'd not you say it like that? No, because she's not a stripper. She's a pole dance instructor. Oh, uh, I thought she was a stripper. She I didn't just, know. No, she happened to work um, at a strip club. Why before. didn't you correct me, Mike, when I first said it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> just, you said it very like, obnoxiously. The stripper chick. Well, what is that shimmy I'm doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know she was a pole dancer. Uh, she's working. actually, she owns a dance studio. She's she's incredible. Oh, nice. She, <laughs> <laughs> 
was, my God, messaged me the next day. He's like, I feel like I was the most useless guest ever on your podcast, bro. Was he ever going to be the co-host, or was he the co-host? No, here, no, he was just he was just a guest there. Oh. I'm pretty sure that Drew something came up. I think Drew got sick that day, so he couldn't make it. So, um, you know, Mike kind of sat in. I think I don't know if you and what did Drew that, so. eventually just say, "Hey, look, this is not no, gonna just be your... him and I kind of decided virtually, like, bro, this isn't it. You know what I mean? Like, so much of what think about it, bro. Like, we're having a drink, we're laughing. I'm looking at you. This body language. Yeah, we're in person, man. You know the the chemistry. Yeah, you know, like I if. You know, I don't know, dude. I feel a little if, gay. If the, I think the best the best podcasts in the world have we're in person, we're live together. Absolutely, there's a different vibe. And to it just it, goes you know? to show that you can't be success, successful without me. Yes, basically yes. <laughs> 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 and for the record, it's like you know, hey, we've got Josh and then his co-host Jay. I just I need you to understand that's the dynamic that it will always. <laughs> that be. is that is not the <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> What's it? I used to say something to. Uh, like when we did the intro, I think with Drew, I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? You know, I'm Josh. We got the B side Drew here with us." <laughs> like, I'd what do they say in the office? Like the assistant the manager. To the Assist- <laughs> I'd say assistant to the host. Yes, assistant to the <laughs> He's manager. Like, I'm the assistant host. No, <laughs> assistant to the host. I'm actually really, really looking forward to actually having guests again, it's bullshitting, talking. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a, a great time. So it's feels good to be back. Yeah. Feels good to be back with you guys in this feel, environment. It feels good to be doing it right. You know what I mean? Like Yes, the, with the right equipment. You know what I'm saying, George? Like the, the the right equipment, the right software. Yeah, equipment like everything down to the desk, bro. Like my boy Boris, he built us this desk for the podcast. Like we have a custom What's desk. Ren, 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 Boris Rendon, what? Yeah, Rendon, Boris yeah. Rendon. Thanks for dude. I throw him the specs, bro. Like, hey, this is how big. This is how I need it to be light but sturdy. These are the legs I want on it, bro. He did everything for us. Oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> you moving cameras and shit, dude? Live. Live. Oh, is that what you did? Did you put it back in the right spot? Like, now I'm just getting shown from the nipples down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, so we tr- we tried that. We did it virtually. The one thing that we did that was pretty cool, which, excuse me, I would like to incorporate maybe something we can do in the future or think about is we did it live a few times. Meaning, like, we did it, we broadcast it Who did? live on You and Facebook. Drew? Drew and I, yeah. Oh, oh. I was going to say, I don't remember doing so it. So we streamed it simultaneously to Facebook, you know, as we were just doing our podcast. But this is something, George, that you're going to think is sick, that that OBS, that Streamlabs software. Like, right now you're recording. Bro, you can stream it and record it at the same time. So if we ever wanted to do a live podcast where we put out a section of, you know, like 15 minutes where we field questions and shit, yeah. we could do that. It's, you know, be, a lot of ideas, awesome. man. Now, you know, we just... A lot more capability, versatility. Yeah. Oh, so that's the other thing. Like in in that that interim of you know when we stopped before and when we started now. Yeah. I get into like streaming video games and shit, and that is what gave me all of this knowledge. Oh right, uh, right, right. Experience. I remember you were on, on Twitch yeah, softwares, but yeah, I was on Twitch, Facebook, even YouTube for a little bit. But all of like doing that made me realize like, hey, these are all things that are applicable to what we were doing before, and will make our job, yeah. specifically George's job, ten times easier than it used to be. Nice, nice. So here we are then. Yeah. So that that gets us to today, you know. And even fast even, forward to today. <laughs> fast forward well, actually, today. no. Let, let, hold on. Let's explain. Over the course of the the last two years, actually, actually over the last year, there was, <laughs> yeah, there was a pandemic. <laughs> um, we've well, talked a couple smoking. times. We bounced it back. Hey, let's do the podcast, and then it would kind of like dissipate, right? Hey, let's do the podcast. Yeah, dissipate. And that was all, like uh, literally that was all me. Like, yeah. kind of oh yeah, you were, you were fucking like so flaky. Yeah. Until the day I'm like, hey, send me money. Like we're doing this. Send me money so I you know, know you're I, serious. I, I never... Um, and then he shipped me 600 bucks. I'm like, all right, he's serious. Well, because you know what the... And re- if he's... I go, it's a non-refundable deposit. <laughs> I, I really, really wanted to do, to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to, like, half-ass it again. I didn't want to repeat um, what we did last time. A little bit. Bro, um, though, they can't even hear that. We got noise gate shit on this. You're good. I'm telling George you, you need a little slow, tip cup. Slowly getting up. Oh, my God. You're making me so scared. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough, bro. Holy shit. Damn, what do I look like, bro? Yeah, rip through that DC, man. And a fucking American tourist. I asked for just a splash of Diet Coke, and this dude put more than I got blue. Now I got to put more whiskey. Yeah, that's what I, that's what asshole, I'm saying. You almost filled you up asshole. my cup. You almost filled up my cup. What the it. fuck are those glasses, bro? Let me see those. What, these ones? Yeah, dude, those are obnoxious on the side. Obnoxious? What do you mean? What is that, dude? I don't know if they're going to fit your this fucking... This dude, bro, comes and works with me, makes a little money, and buys these... Look at these fucking Versace glasses. Yeah, those are the shit, bro. This guy, who are you? I had, what I had, you to, do with I had to work out a deal. 
I don't even want to stretch them out and put them on my head. Yeah, go ahead. Fuck it. Who cares? They're only glasses. Look at you, bro. I need a nice pair Check of sunglasses. Check out the shades. I only wear Versace. Um, you should see the fucking... Fuck you know those funny, You should see the, the eyeglasses that I bought. This is funny, bro. From fucking Bling down in is, Garden City. I um. Well, I got a pair from Garden City. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest with you, bro. This was when I first, you know, I first started, you know, doing really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just spending out of control. I'm like, you know, I need new shades. That's what I happens. Go in, you buy this stupid shit. I went in there. I bought $450 Gucci sunglasses. Right. That, that you don't I probably made sure wear. Not, yeah. I made sure that it was pretty subtle but noticeable. You know, yeah. I wanted to make sure if motherfuckers looked, they knew it was Gucci. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. to me at the time it was important. I need you to know I got money. I I, I was <laughs> I grew up poor, so I put a lot of value on that. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I didn't have the 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 jerseys and all the sneakers growing up. Right. So like all these little flashy shit. I always had a passion for flashing. That's yeah. my line. Before I had it, I there's a phrase for that. Imagine. So then you know what happened, bro? I had those shades, and I'm like, all right, these are nice, and I always get compliments on them. But you know what annoys me, bro? I get compliments a lot from like logo whores, meaning I yeah, wear this whores. shirt, bro. Yeah, yeah. brand whores. I wear this shirt, of course. And I've always had people tell me, "That's a really nice shirt." I go, "It's like, really not," bro. but it's just a black That's shirt. A, They're like, right. "Yeah, but like Lacoste." I'm like, "So like, it's a really nice logo." Is what you're saying? Like, what if I just ch- go like that? Yes. Is it no yes. longer nice? Yes. And I have people say that all the time, and it bothers me, dude, because it's like, damn. You know what this is right here? It lets me know how fucking like uh, materialistic we are as people. This, not these only are is my it favorite material. glasses. I got these on. Look at these. This is these look dope. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. Thirty bucks, bro. Yeah, my favorite pair of glasses. And I wear them. This all is the time. impulse buying, just because you're bored. Like, yeah, dude, that's what that is. It's not because like I don't I don't give a shit what it, I don't want anybody to come up. I really don't want anybody coming. Up, oh, nice fucking glasses. Yeah, like, you dude, do. you're gay. Get the fuck away from yeah. me. Oh, nothing wrong with being gay, but I'm just saying. No, nah, you're Christian, bro. You, you, we expect that. We expect that from you people. <laughs> we expect homophobia from Christians. I'm just kidding. I know you're not homophobic, bro. You tried to do some weird shit earlier to me. Whoa. Um, so, yeah, man, in the interim, we were doing the Twitch streaming. That was uh, nice. that was a lot of fun. I think what I appreciated that most, and it's this is either a, a good thing about me or a flaw that I have. There's is, nothing good about you. Is I, I don't ever, like, trust relying on people. And to me, that was great because I could handle that shit all by myself. Like, I didn't need you to show up to the podcast. I didn't need George to show up. I didn't need anybody else to be invested in it. You know what I mean? Like, I was able to set it up and do it myself. What are you talking about? The the Twitch, the video game stream. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm like, what? what so, like, that, that was dope to me. It's like, yeah, fuck, you know, like, fuck everybody. Like, if, if right, this guy's going to Right, you're independent. Half, exactly. You know, if, if somebody's going to half-ass, yeah. it's not going to affect me at all. Right. Nobody is stopping me and from And if it fucks up, that's you, too. Yeah, well. I mean, it's kind of hard to fuck up, fuck Twitch. <laughs> It's kind of like the same, you know. It's like your your content speaks for itself, and then you can make the production better, right? You know. So I felt like I was mediocre at playing video games, so I had to, you know, like engage and be funny. And I think I think I was okay. I did it. Yeah. But what happened is the same thing, bro. You know, like at the time it was during COVID is when I started, and at like everybody, which is a great working, time though. Oh, everybody's working from home. Everybody's yeah. watching video games. Yeah. What's crazy, bro, is during COVID, everything like video game or streaming related was so inflated cost wise, dude. Like we have I'm sure. Think about it, bro. We bought man, we bought these little Logitech cameras. Yeah. For like seventy bucks when we bought them. No, well, and that was dude, that was a year and a half before COVID. Two years before COVID, maybe actually. Maybe even more than that. And then COVID happens, bro. And I like resold them. I shouldn't tell you because you might want to come for me money on this. But uh, I don't care. <laughs> I resold them yeah. for like hundred and seventy bucks. Well one of them. What were they I going for away. like retail and store? Brand new, we paid seventy for them. I resold one of them for one seventy because so they web- had to be more expensive though. Yeah, in store no, no, then. no, they you couldn't get them in stores. That's why the resale ah, value was high. The gotcha. like, it, like, because think about it. Everybody started working from home. Everybody had to buy webcams. Yeah. So the demand was just way higher than the supply. And then one of them it's I just gave sick. away because my buddy wanted to start streaming. I'm like, all right, bro, I got you. Yeah. Booty, man, booty. Yeah. What, what happened to two dogs? Oh, um, I know they they kind of came back, and then I don't know. I have I'm gonna be honest. I haven't followed up as much. Yeah. Actually, I talked to Freddie earlier. I sent him a text message just of the setup. Look, let me see what he said. He sent me back a message. That'd be another sick ass reunion to have them, um, along with Jenny. I want to find out where Katie's at. You know what she's doing. That'd be <laughs> Katie was cool because she was like, it was such a good episode, but she like it was great. Every exchange. other yeah, every other. I feel like you know every other guest we had, for the most part, 
they had like a niche in a story to tell. Like remember Maurice, he had like the battling back from drugs. Right. Uh, Ricky owned a bar. Yeah. Um, Jay Messier as a councilman. Like That's everybody. Right. That's right. Uh, Patricia Ways. Patricia was like the school board. Um, what's her name? Jen was like a vegan. We wanted to talk about that. Katie, we were just like, all right, you're just a friend of Jay's. Like, just come and bullshit yeah. with us. We don't have anything specific we want to ask you about. And she, I, it turned out great because she was social. I uh, forgot where so, it went. Who are these J squared fucks that George keeps pulling up, bro? They ripped us off. Yeah, they did. They just took our shit and. That looks like us. These motherfuckers. I'm the guy on the right. He's got more chins. <laughs> we were talking about renaming the podcast, bro. Chin and Juice was great. The Chin and Juice that would podcast. Be great. I like It Is What It Is. That'd be a good name for the podcast. What do you think, George? How about we have like a... It is what it is. What do you guys think? With what, two J's. What does the audience think? It What's, is what it is with two J's. What the fuck are you saying right now? <laughs> two J's. <laughs> two J's. <laughs> who is our, who is our not so good guest? I'm not saying Our greatest guest. <laughs> <guess. laughs> I'm not going to Who's our say. worst guest? No, not it's not because they, it's th- not their fault. It's just us ha- not having like, you know, a, a good exchange and conversation or like forced. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not them. It's not because they're Joe boring. Sprague. That episode sucked. <laughs> Did it? I don't even, I don't even remember. No, wait, hold on. No, no, no. That guy that came, um, uh, he had his, <laughs> that guy that came. <laughs> Who was so we're talking about the podcast, not your Friday nights, bro. Yeah, uh, at at uh, Legends. What was his name? I forgot his name. That why is that? Who who knew that guy? The guy that runs the most successful podcast in Rhode Island, bro, Bill Bartholomew. Right, that's what you talking about. The long hair. Oh game? wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. No, he's like he's like an anchor for like PBS or something now. But no, I, that episode was thing. pretty dry. I'm not gonna be honest fault, with you. Not your that fault. Goes, Bill that goes to show. No, no, it's not his fault. That goes to show. What happens when you when I booked a guest solely on his following and trying to like you know get us more following yeah, because absolutely. he had the most views, <laughs> he had the most uh, like he's got the biggest podcast in Rhode Island right he did at the time called Bartholomew Town or something. What is going on? But I knew nothing Can our about him. See this? Hey, our viewers yeah. see this? I knew nothing about him. I didn't really like have anything in common with him. And that goes to show it wasn't a genuine booking, and it showed in the content. Oh, yeah, I mean? absolutely, because it was, like, bro. We didn't. It was dry. There was, was nothing very, to talk about. Yeah, we didn't like, see right, eye Who eye are you? Either. What do you want? It's not <laughs> even that we here? disagreed too, because we can. I feel like we do well with t- discussing shit with people that either you disagree with or I. Because even you and I yeah. don't agree on everything. That's right. But some of our guests, there was just not. It's not even nothing in common. It was just what what the fucking, what's his podcast? I don't know, about? bro. What does he do? Well, he has the largest podcast in Rhode Island, and what does he talk about? I don't know. Bro. I don't know if he still does it. Oh, I don't know if he's on YouTube. It's called Bartholomew Town. I know my friend Ed Brady. He started his own podcast at Park Theater. Everybody's doing that shit now, dude. Yeah. Oh, everybody's right. doing that shit now. I feel like back when we were doing our old. Podcast, right? Four, oh. like four. <laughs> like, that, like that's, this? That, that's the largest like podcast four, in Rhode Island. <laughs> I feel like when we were doing our old podcast, or so you know, before when we did this the first time, you know, the the climate, the political climate was so um, heavy, tense, tense and everything. So it had a major influence on our on our content. Whenever. We, we like, influence not like that we anymore. influence the election, bro. Like we swayed everybody. That's right. <laughs> no. Unlike, let's say now. Yeah, it seemed like know. we couldn't avoid it. You know what I mean? Like, you couldn't yeah. avoid talking about, like, Trump or Hillary or that shit when we were That's doing right. it. That's right. That's right. You just couldn't That's avoid right. it. You know, every day, you know, Trump fucking sneezed and everybody was offended or he yeah. did something great and all the right wing was like, this is the best thing since ever. Yeah, and It was yeah, like, yeah. it was very divided and very tense. It's Where the, the climate today is just more relaxed. I think people are just tired of talking about tired, it. But what they're doing, there's some still, like... I'm not going to mention There's it. some heavy hitters there's, still out there. Dude, there's still somebody I, I play poker with, man. I see this guy maybe once every two weeks, and he's showing up in a shirt that still says, like, oh, if you like Trump, then I hate you, and you'll hate me, too. It's like, bro, are you still on this shit? Like, move on. Bro. I already know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to name stuff, but it's like, move on, bro. Just move but, on. Yeah, you know, like people are people are passionate about, obviously, their belief systems and their ideologies and, and stuff like that, which I don't necessarily blame them, but... 
after a while, you have to realize that what you're saying is not even getting across, number one. Two, nobody gives a fuck, really. Right, right. You know, it's just like oh, you can't, bar room. We, we didn't, uh, you can't swear in that anymore. All right, we, I got to go. We didn't check the explicit content box. Peace. <laughs> no, I checked it, too. <laughs> I mean, I was like, all right, good, you checked it. <laughs> Well, that's one thing. Actually, that's one thing that I actually wanted to change this time too. Is you don't want to swear how, anymore? How often? I, I mean, I, I don't want. To, I don't want the podcast necessarily to be sleazy. You know so what I'm saying? Fucking bitch, bro. This is what you are. Am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just want to pussify our podcast. And no, not pussify. Not never, swear. never, never. I just clean it up. Some people, you know, it's like it's just going off the ear. Fuck this, fuck that, all the fuck time. Them. And I'm always saying fuck. In fact, listen, I was at Foxwoods last night in the lounge. Uh, talking to one of my friends, drunk and high as fuck, eating prime rib, and an old lady Were behind your me. your glasses on? Yeah, right? <laughs> this old lady <laughs> behind me. Inside. She was telling the person who I was talking to, because when he was talking, he was cursing a lot. She was like, hey, can you can you stop doing that? And he was like, what? Like, all like confrontational and shit. I'm like, bro, it's an old lady. Yeah. And she was just like, she better watch her fucking mouth. Yeah, she <laughs> watch your fucking mouth, bitch. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, sometimes when I hear myself back with it, you know, I I think, damn, that's a little much. That's a lot of F bombs when they don't really need to be there. And I feel like it's a sign of not sometimes it feels like it's a, it sounds a sign of, of just not having an extended vocabulary. You know right. what I mean? Like Absolutely. You don't know enough words, so you just substitute everything with fucking shit. It's like But then again, it's also part of the like you know, Northeast culture. Yeah, we're a bunch of coons. Oh, coons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like cunts, bro. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. What happened? <laughs> I, I thought you said something else. Um, uh, don't make me laugh too hard on camera, bro. Why? My cheeks aren't very flattering. What do you mean? Camera makes me look chubby. Yeah. Well, it adds 10 pounds. <laughs> it's like definitely the camera. <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds, so. Jeez. <laughs> I was thinking about that, too. I was like, man, I wonder how fatter I look on Let's go camera. audio only. You know, versus the last time we did this. <laughs> I told George. As, gonna, as our George, viewers are going to see this and be like, man, you guys gained a lot well, of fucking know, weight. We know what you guys did over the break. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I was telling George earlier, he's messing with the, uh, you know, the software, and he's got the camera angles up. And I'm like, yeah, dude, this is crazy. Like, you can actually stretch it. And, like, you know, you can do this. I'm like, you could even make me look thinner by going taller. Right. You could make me look, you could stretch it taller. I'm like, you could just push this button and stretch it taller. <laughs> He's not doing it. I'm like, all right, great. I tried. So who is going to be our first guest going forward? Bro, what a weird question to ask me. I don't know. Yeah. You want to no. figure this out? You want to brainstorm right well, now? Well, no, no. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I had you? a list of, like, four things that people don't give a shit about, and that was one of them. What about our, if we were to ask our viewers, who would you want to see? Nah, we don't have to ask them. Fuck, Fuck them. them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how, like, sometimes we don't agree on things, and then now we're completing each other's sentences. No. We should tie dicks. I know. We should. All right. Yeah. What else we got, man? I don't know. We're drinking this fucking... Every time Did we you ask bring George us? to bring... Of course he brought it, bro. Yeah. Look at that shit. Hey, I'm always down. So this is going out to Terrell because he's a big bourbon drinker. Hey, listen, man. Irish whiskey. I'm always down for Irish whiskey and or scotch. I got I more know. Irish whiskey, too, if we kill that. Oh, we're definitely going to kill this. Yeah. Um. Oh, speaking of Terrell, like Terrell, bro, shout out to him, dude. I see him on his, like, always at this poker games, bro, crushing it, posting on Instagram. And yeah. every time I see him stacking, I think, because I play with Terrell. Yeah. How soft are these games? Like, no, it's not that. I, li- hold on. I want to give it up to Terrell, too, because, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding, Terrell. You know, he's decent. I, I, he's I'm right. there. You know, I'm, I'm always there. And you know what he's doing? He's doing everything right. He's doing everything the right way. Not drinking, not gambling, like just not getting stupid. Being disciplined. Yeah, yeah. You know. He's taking it seriously. Yes, he's taking it very seriously, and, that, and that's the result of it, you know. Um, I, I don't think it's anything that none of us, you know, less necessarily can't do. It's just that. He's doing it the right way. He's actually doing it versus talking about it. All right. Well, here's a is a is a Good formal is a formal challenge. Yeah. Heads up. One two, two k on the table. Whoever goes broke first loses. Damn. It's a formal challenge. That is your ego talking right now. Two five. Fuck it. You're like this guy's <laughs> shining. Fuck I'm him. like, well, it's because of bro. I fucking. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I'm on the worst downswing ever in my life gambling and poker right now, bro. Really. Listen to this, dude. I play poker Wednesday. Yeah. And whatever. I was up. I cashed out. Yeah. Or I thought I was cashing out. <laughs> and then I, they conned me into sitting back down, right? 
So I lost a little bit. But then I was getting, like, I was drunk and gambling. This kid and I, this kid James and I, we, we flipped cards for money at this point. Yeah. So we did it. I'm going to tell you. We did a total of seven times. I won one time. Oh, man. Hold on. You suck at life. The only, when I say we flipped cards, I mean, yeah. the dealer fanned out the deck. He flipped a card and I did. High card wins. That's it. And we were doing, like, you know, bigger dollar amounts. I won't get specific, but it, it hurt. Um, the only time I won. Yeah. Is because the f- he picked first and he picked a deuce. I won that one. Out of the six that he won, ready? Listen to this. One of the times he won, he picked a five. I picked a three. Man, another you're just a loser won, in like every aspect he, of your hey, life. Another time he won, he picked a five. I flipped a deuce. Damn. I'm not done, bro. There was another time he won. I flipped a queen. He picked an ace. I flipped a king. He flipped an ace. I flipped a jack. He flipped a king. So you know what this means, though. I'm the unluckiest motherfucker in the world, bro, and I should go play slots or something. Well, no, your sample size is just too small. So if you stretch the sample size, you're about to win, right? So Yeah, I should go do it. On today. your next seven times, fucking triple down. Yeah, no shit, bro. I tried right? that last night. It has to even out at some point. I tried point. that last night. On, I tried doing that last night betting on UFC. and um, You I'm lost be, that, too? I'm going to be talking <laughs> to one of you's. After the podcast about a loan, <laughs> <laughs> I lost big, bro. I, I'm gonna tell you what. Speaking about poker, speaking about money and stuff I, like it's that. It's like I messaged my bookie, like, "Bro, how's everything? You know, Christmas is around the corner and shit, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe we should just extend payments a <laughs> bit." <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, pay me, I'll break your legs." <laughs> I'm kidding. Right. He's a solid dude, bro. I won't put his name out, obviously, but so off air. Er- ever since you know, ever since doing the whole solar thing and whatever. um, my life has changed, obviously, you know, like cer- certainly financially. So that now here, here's like a whole I different get a part, of, of that, part of poker that I never, ever considered before. And maybe you guys can, you know, relate and chime in on this. Bold so, like, I, it, it's hard for me to play, like, one, two and take it serious. It's hard for me to play two, five and take it serious. Well, it's because, Which is strange because two, no, five it's used to be. Strange. It's because the, the amount of, like, you look at it like if you go in and lose three bullets at one, two, nine hundred dollars, it's. It's just not really going to affect you. It's not going to change your your week, right. your month. It's not going to change anything. Right, right, right. You know, that's and exactly always, it. But I I think if you if you actually look and study bankroll management and how much you set aside for poker, you probably still. I think what do they say? You should have at least a hundred buy-ins yes. of a stake. But that's when, right. When, to comfortably play that. Yeah, no, that's right. Twenty five. I think it's a hundred, bro. Like if you ask the pros, they won't have a hundred buy-ins. Meaning, what's three hundred times a hundred? Thirty grand. So if you have thirty grand expendable, you should be playing one two. Oh wait, or, no, no, or a game I'm that's sorry. capped at three hundred. I, I was agreeing with you. That, no, that's not. That's not. That's incorrect. You I should have three thousand to six thousand with one two. That's like that's only twenty buy-ins. Right. But based, yeah, based on who? Well, it's just what the pros are that's saying. What I'm in saying. Books. I, I think if we look up different pros, they probably have different things. That's a huge gap between. That's a thirty thousand. I just remember reading. I mean, it, the book could be a bit outdated, but I remember reading a book and it was like you want to have a hundred buy-ins. Yeah. But I mean, I think that makes sense because look at it, you, you know, like. Well, in any case, so let me just finish my thought really fast. Yeah, so yeah. before, like, I, I, you know, I obviously I used to round. I used to go to poker. Yeah, you but know you, that, right? you were playing beyond your means before. You, I well, think I remember yes. you actually talking about. Yeah, a hundred and fifty percent. I could find absolutely. Post that you said, "Hey, I can't afford to play this game." No, that's no, I promise that. you. I think <laughs> I, I remember, you, bro. I, I can pull up your Facebook. You, I, you said oh, it in, oh, maybe yeah. in, a, in a sarcastic said, manner, no, no, like no, no. joking you, around. You said, listen, I'm taking a break from poker because I really fucking realized, like, I can't afford the swings. I can't afford maybe, losing yeah. 1200 bucks in a night a couple times okay. a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think you were being genuine because... Maybe I was. Yeah, you're right. Here's the thing. It's like, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, I, no. I think this is going to go well with what you're saying. Yeah. Americans, right? Like, we we grow up and we live this we live this week-to-week lifestyle. It's all we know until you're taught different. You know, like if you have right. great, you know, financially educated parents, they teach you earlier in life. But yeah. me, anyways, week to week was just like life. You know, that's what you do. You go to work, you get paid, you pay all your bills, and hopefully you can make it to the next week. And like sometimes making more money doesn't change that mindset. It doesn't change that that self value or that pattern. Of course. You know what I mean? Yes. So playing poker, like playing one two and losing three bullets twice a week, right? And maybe you go in and you're making sixty, seventy grand a year, yeah. And you lose twelve hundred bucks, you lose eighteen hundred bucks one week. It's like I can afford to play this game because I'm gonna get paid Friday and be able to play some more. You get right. what I'm saying? Yeah. When the reality is, again, think about that. Like, if you go and play one two, you only need three hundred to buy in. 
So to to tell a new one two player, or right? Somebody and technically, that's, you need like three to six k, right? Exactly. To play it properly, that, and that's and that's on a low level. I think again, I think the the higher, if you ask a lot of pros, the higher level is you want a hundred bullets, which is, yeah, which is thirty grand. To be able to really take those swings, you definitely and not don't have need thirty grand to play one two. You don't need it. I think that you know there are a Even lot of to pros play that, properly. I think there are a lot of pros that prop. There's there's needing it to play it all. Yeah. Then there's properly, and then there's optimally. And I think yeah. playing something optimally is where you can get to the next level. So right now, right when I play, like I, so, I, you know, I, I used to track my wins and losses and stuff like that. Um, all of and that. And then it got depressing because you're like, lost, lost, lost. No, lost, no, lost. I, I tell you God's honest truth, just to be straightforward and honest. Like, uh, I, I, I was doing actually pretty good, pretty, I was doing well. Um, I think I know two people that have done well with poker since I've known them. It's very hard in one two. So all that like people telling you they're making fifty dollars an hour, that's all bullshit. Oh, that's all. Well, if you're you doing twenty dollars an hour in you, one two, that's actually really. You should. That's really, really good. You should really count your big blinds per hour more than anything, not the actual dollar amount. Right. Okay. However way we want we want to track it. But anyway, my, my point is is that so like right now like I I don't play to beat games anymore. I don't I don't round. I don't I don't go to all these house games anymore. I, I don't even care. I play very recreationally just for. The social right, aspect of it. I think know. we had that conversation yeah, not yeah. too long ago. Um, like, I, I don't really give a shit anymore. Right. Like, the like make the, the the financial return isn't the only thing you care about. It's having a good time. While I, in fact, it. I don't care about it at all. <laughs> That's you know. Yeah. It's, it, I still get annoyed when I lose. Yes. I'm not gonna say I, that. I, I totally agree. So with I that. I'd rather prefer to win, but if I don't, then you know, I, I'm actually what I'm paying for. I'm paying for to have a good time with people and. Everybody knowing that now, they're probably going to be like, "Hey, what are you doing this? What are you doing Wednesday night? What are you doing Thursday well, night? You want me play at the game later today?" Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Which is, hey, whatever. I mean, if I can spice up a game for for some people, I like the splash now. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Splash, I splash. I was taking the bath. I'm, I, you know that that competitive part Look of poker George for me. The live monitoring, he's all bro. Serious. It's crazy because he's wor- no, he's working. He's not serious. He's working. He's switching cameras. He's hearing us. Can you hear me in the headphones right now? That's money in the bank. The competitive side Dude, of he poker used to, actually has George, diminished for it. me. Think about it now, though. I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, you are. George is wearing <laughs> headphones right now to monitor how good we sound live. He used to wear headphones before to just so out. we wouldn't talk to him. <laughs> like, just so we wouldn't. Like, pretend he's <laughs> listening to shit, bro. But, yeah, no, the, the competitive thing is there. And I think, again, that's probably why Terrell is having good result because he he's competitive. And he said, hey, I want to do this seriously and make money doing it. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you can go do it. I mean, there's a lot of things. You know, listen, I, I, I live at the woods almost, like, right? It's like I'm, I'm there probably at least on Eight average a week. three, four days a week, right? And it's funny because I'll see somebody that's in our poker circle here, you know, um, and they'll go down to Foxwoods. They'll have a great oh. night, yep. right? And I'll be like, oh, hey, you, you know, whatever. You're having a great night. Congratulations. Good job. Whatever. And they'll say some stupid shit like, oh, you know, Jay, this is what I do. And I'm like... What the fuck? Like I, I laugh about that shit. I walk away and I'm like, I don't know why people do. And it, it, it's frequent. Yeah, it's yeah, frequent. Yeah. Like I'm here. Like you're not here. I I know this is yeah, not yeah. what you do. But you're this is not what you do, bro. You're, you're here. counting on the fact that I'm not here. So <laughs> you're saying, oh yeah, this is what you, I do. You do you this don't like, do shit. You do this twice a month and maybe make seven hundred bucks. Yeah. Like, and I, I, you know, that's it's, it's the same exact thing as like you know when people talk about uh you know hosting games and they're talking about the drag and stuff like that. Oh, your drag's too high, or your rake is too high, and all that stuff. Like that shit goes like right up my ass because yeah. But sometimes, unless, hold on, let me let me just okay. finish my thought. I'm unless, sorry. I'm sorry, unless uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, unless somebody is professionally playing and trying to keep a certain rate per hour, who gives a fuck about the rake, right? But people talk about it like it's a, you know, oh, I'm not gonna play in your game because your rake's too high, bro. Shut the fuck up. I don't want you at the game then. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're right. unless you're a pro. Unless you're a pro trying to keep. Can I go? The rake is super uh, relevant. Well, I have one more thought. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so the rake is actually, especially in a home game, Yeah. the rake is super relevant because the rate at which money comes off the table, bro, mm-hmm. dictates how long that game can be sustained. Meaning if you're playing in a home game with only nine people or ten players but not seven people waiting, yeah, bro, that rake is eating the money from the game. No shit. So, like, the game can literally can't continue. So if I go and I want to play. The game bro, will always continue. Uh, but it won't, bro. Like money literally Listen, gets taken. I ran my own game for over five years. You, I, I understand what you're saying, bro. But, <laughs> but right now, well, you're you're trying to tell me that yeah. the rake doesn't matter. No, no. I'm I'm saying to right, our let's, circle let's of get uh, to, let's get to a, a the meat and potatoes. Ground, yeah. The, no, no. Let's just agree on something. If you're playing a game where there's yeah. no 
pl- uh, list of players waiting to come in. Right. Because home games and casino games are very, very different. The casino just has unlimited now players filtering in. But now, now you're you're catering like. Well, we're talking. We were talking about a home game. Let's talk you about were talking a about game, a home game. Whether yeah. there's a list or not. Let's no, just no, talk no. in general. Th- that's so relevant though. Because if there's a list, the seat's always going to get full. Then the rate, then the rate right. isn't so as relevant. Talk about just one one aspect. Because that's that's why people are concerned with a rig. Because every time you've, I'm recently when you've invited me to games, they weren't full games with players being fed into it. There were short games where if somebody busts, that's just an open seat now. So the the money on the table is finite. It's not being replaced with more money and more players. There is never a point where there's uh, where the rake is going to affect the game that much. There's it's not it's not gonna ever gonna happen. It, it does. All right. So let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Well, I, hold we on. Sit, let me. I just want to make sure no, that no, I understand you what you're saying. I, I'm I'm very clear on what I'm saying. Yeah. We so sit down. You're, at you're a saying table. that money's coming off the table, right? Obviously. Correct. Yeah. There's not enough money coming off the table where it's gonna affect the game that much. Let me give you an example of actual unless dollar the amounts. rake is like. A hundred dollars an hour. No, no, no. <laughs> so I play. I play twice a week. Yeah. I play two home games a week, twice a week, every single week. Let's say the max. So arguable. the max buy. No, no, no. It's not arguable, bro. I you do play it twice a week? week. Twice a week. Every Sunday, every Wednesday, religiously. Th- this is not up for debate. You can you can confirm this if you want. I'm gonna check into mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ask All right, go ahead. What, what's your point? Hey Siri, call Phil Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so every week, right now, yeah. this the max buy-in at this game is a little higher than a normal one two. It's five hundred. Right. Usually it's three. Yeah. So let's say <clears throat> everybody sits down with five hundred dollars. Right. That's five grand on the table. Yeah. At the end of the night, yeah, there is always There's only two grand. <laughs> there is always more than eight hundred dollars coming off that table between rake and tips. Yeah. So what does that mean? That to, means what brother, does that mean to the to the that means that almost twenty percent of the a little less than twenty percent of the money is coming the off the table. I understand the math. I'm but saying how can you say that doesn't affect the game. No, I'm saying what does that mean to the person that doesn't play regularly cash? Right, they play. Let's say in, in our circle, it's pub poker. Right, you don't play cash regularly, and what? you're just coming to the not you. I'm saying whoever you just come. You're coming to the game because your friends are there, and you you know what I'm saying. That all that all that statistical shit. That you're doesn't. Talk, mean you're talking anything. about a non-cash player. Yes, I don't give that's a what, fuck with. Like, what the fuck are we talking okay, about, hold on bro? A second, wait, you're hold talking on. about let's my get, fucking mailman Joe that's never played in a cash game. Let's get on what the same page here. About a rake? I don't let's give a fuck. Let's get on the same page here. Most about? of most of our poker playing friends are non-cash players. Um, not me anymore. Only because no, I'm I don't, not talking about you. I don't I'm play, talking about. But you're talking about our. Who else are we talking yeah. about? Whoever's in in that circle, right? Pub, most of the pub poker players, they're all pub poker players, right? They're not uh, cash players, not avid cash players. I just players. don't play pub anymore. So m- m- the my friends Excuse now me. play cash more than tournaments. Okay, most of the, I guarantee you, most of those even cash players, they're not trying to keep a steady rate. No, no, no. Again, right? it's not about as long a as win the, rate. I'm saying like when you're pl- when you're playing in a in a home game, bro. That's yeah. usually not filtered with new players all the time. Yeah. The rate can definitely shorten the length of that game. Well, of course it's going to. There, there, I mean, Two for, seconds ago you said it couldn't. No, what, 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 what I'm trying to say is that it's not going to have that much of an effect on a game. You're, you're not going to be, hey, I'm not going to play in that game because I'm glad that we're moving towards a common ground because 10 minutes ago you said it doesn't affect it at all. Now you said it doesn't have that much of an well, effect. Well, I'm assuming you know what the fuck you're talking about. Because, yeah, we have to agree. Bro, there's <laughs> no way you could say that money coming off the table and out of the players' pockets doesn't yeah. affect a game that the players put money into play. Well, that shit, if I take $5 you. off the off the table, that affects the game. No shit, bro. I Sometimes I'm an advocate for not being able to tip with chips. No, no like I, I, pl- I thought about that I a million pl- times, I play too. At a game, I play at a game where there, there's... Because I tip you, pretty heavy. Yeah, and there's massages, too. Sometimes you play at a game. I can totally there's a see There's a massage somebody, girl. Yes. Bro, somebody pays fucking... Or they pay for their, their $100 meal. $100 off the 100 table. 100 bucks. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Right, you put that back on the table. Put that back on the table. You take $100 out of your pocket. Or you don't have the money. Right. Unless right. you're cashing out, that money shouldn't come off the table. And I, I, no, I feel I'm you there. I'm an advocate there. for that. I, I, I 100% but it, that's agree That's the same thing. So that affects the game the same way that a rig does. Of course. Okay, so technically speaking, any money coming off the table does affect the game. What I'm saying, my my context is what I'm trying to say is that to the average one of our <laughs> one of our one of our players, one of our friends who are not avid cash players, who are not tr- professional, trying to keep a rate. Don't worry about the fucking. They're just rate. like saying buzzwords. Yeah, that's like, oh, that's what it is. Oh, the they're looking. They, they're looking for reasons not to attend a game. Like, do me a favor. And they want to cal- sound like they know what the yeah. fuck they're talking like, about. Like yo, but they calculate don't. the rake for me. Explain to me why the rake is that much and when it's that much. They're like, well, yeah, my job, Bob flopped a set. <laughs> What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. That some people do come to the game and they just they use buzzwords and they're like, I don't want to yes. do it because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Like I I hear it too often. They're corny. Well, I used to hear it too often. I'm like, oh hey, Ray, they're corny. Shut the fuck up. 
you don't even play that much. You, you what do you play like fucking once a month? And you're What's talking the about rake? the rake. Like you're lucky you're even invited. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't even be there, bro. Lucky we were short this week. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some of my fucking poker pet peeves. I know, pet peeves. I remember because we had a conversation about that where uh, we were talking. I think we were out to. Jorge. I think we were out with. No, was it Paul? We were out with Paul for a cigar. And we were talking about the rake up, of the Paul? game. And I said it was a bit high. Because it was more. Wasn't it 10? Yeah. At one, well, in certain circumstances. That's absurd, bro. That's absurd. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not absurd. That's absurd. A $10 that rake at 1 2 is absurd. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's absurd, dog. <laughs> Yo, that's so absurd. Put it this way. I can't, it hey, was how's a that five dollar max? Hey, how's that oh, game going, by the way? It was a five well, that has nothing to do with the rake. <laughs> it was a five dollar it was a five dollar max. Twice. And then if the pot was over a hundred, we take another five. It was a five dollar max. <laughs> it was a five dollar yeah. max with a ten max. Well, what I'm saying is I'm just trying to make it I'm trying to not really. So it was a ten dollar max is what you're saying. Well, yeah. That's yeah, because you're saying, an idiot, bro. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. How many hands per hour we get, bro? No, no, $5 max takes out $100 an hour in the trade. Yeah, so that's that's, that's probably one fifty an hour. No, no, if you, if you were in the game for a long time, you know the one two game for an hour, you're making one bucks an hour max. And then just like three hands are free. 100%. That's I, I, like I said, I play one two twice a week. That's about right. Yeah. I agree to that. Because when uh when we had the Wolf Den, what up, Sean Wolf? <laughs> 10 max. We were roughly doing like six to eight hours. $5 max with a $10. Six to eight hours. Yeah, Hey, throw me that DC, please. You put an adder on the the rake. It's like it's a five max. Oh, there's a ten dollar adder though. The five dollar adder at a hundred. Yeah, man. So that was yeah. that. Can't imagine why that game stopped running. Well, it definitely wasn't because of the rake. Was it lack of players? Oh, of course. That's okay, well, I stopped is. going because of the rake. So well, that's because you're a bitch. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. It's sad, bro, because he had he had a dope setup. That setup was nice, man. Oh, absolutely. You walk down, bro. Couches, TVs, foosball, pool table, t- full bar. Yes, yes. The I- location sucked, dick, dude. It was way out. Yeah, the it's out there. Sticks, but you kind of want that to because you can be nah, as loud as you want. No, nah, you don't, bro. Well, you do. You don't want it to be in the center of everything. Loud where as a lot you of want, attention. bro. What are you doing, fucking bachata? Like, think bachata, about this. Where the fuck did that come <laughs> from? Like, how loud do you want to be, bro? You playing the drums? Like right now, bro, we go outside and we smoke, we're laughing, we're joking, you know, outside. Hold on, okay. hypothetically, right now, yeah. if we had a poker game here, you could do everything you wanted to do as loud as you want, like you were in that North Smithfield house, and not have any issues. That's not true at all. Yeah, it's very true. I mean, unless you guys were fucking shooting bottle rockets okay. outside, bro. Like, <laughs> no, like, well, if we listen, wanted to, we could. But like, that's not why people. I'm don't imagine play this. Poker. You're you're in a neighborhood. At three in the morning, I can go outside and we can start lo- laughing and joking. On my yeah. deck, of course, bro. Absolutely. You're not gonna go outside three a.m. in the middle of the neighborhood. On my own deck, yeah, bro. How close nah, do you think my neighbor is? You, you don't want that heat. You don't want that attention. Your neighbors would be calling the cops. Like, hey, look, they're fucking every Friday night. I mean, there, there's. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, there's probably a limit, to, but how loud are people really gonna be? Fucking. All right. So over? you just said it. There is a limit, right? right Whereas, yes, in, like, I, I out, in, a out in the you woods, I go outside with an amplified guitar and go play it outside of my house. We're not talking about. We're talking about just talking, laughing talking and, and laughing. We're fine, bro. Because when it's when it's dead quiet, that sound travels throughout the whole neighborhood. Nah, I think we'd be fine doing that. All right. But again, I think you know you're right. There's there's some um, there's something that's what's the word I'm looking for? I can't fucking think of the word. I don't know. That makes that attractive being that far. You're but attractive. I think that pushed it pushed it a little too far, bro. It was like twenty five minutes off of the highway. No, I agree with you there. Yeah, yeah. that's just too much. It's not centralized. Yeah, it's a beautiful, don't beautiful location. Like I said, he had the go. But the reason why, the real reason why that game stopped is just because rake. I don't have the patience. To another rake, bro. Yeah, absolutely. The rake <laughs> was too high. Rake. No, uh, I, I just don't have the patience to like deal with all the the logistics, you know, stuff of I running about, a game anymore. I don't. Yeah. I don't have. I don't care. Yeah, I thought about, I don't care dude, about, I thought it about doing it here, um, literally right here, but I just, I don't want to break this stuff down every week. Yeah, that would be a pain in the balls, man. I mean, I could, bro, we don't ever use I could just put it right here. We don't ever use that sofa. Yeah. I was like, I built this. I put the sofa in the but TV. You, you know what? The, the other thing that sucks about home games, too, is that you're playing the same people. So, like, if I was playing the same people, and this, most of them are all my friends, right? All our friends. I'd rather have very low stakes, so it's not necessarily about the poker. It's about more socializing, and yeah, there's poker involved. Fuck that, you know. To me, it's I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. <laughs> that's how I look off, at. That's know, how I look at one two. Yeah, right. Very low stakes is one two, bro. No, I'm saying like micro, micro stakes. Micro stakes is perspective, bro. In our circle, and I hate to say this, 99 percent of the people probably couldn't afford a one two game. 
That's why I cut them off as friends. You know, fucking I mean, peasants. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they couldn't. They couldn't like deal with week after week losses, but. Oh, in any case, talk fuck about poker. Gambling losses right now. No, neither do I. Hey, my ass. listen, man. I was telling George in the car what I dusted off last night. I, I told George want, what buddy. I dusted off UFC last night, bro. There was a lot of dusting, bro. We're down a fucking small Ford right now. <laughs> We're down like a fucking Ford Explorer, bro. I'm down a used car. What kind of car? I think I, you know, I think I, I, think, like I, I think I lost a, I think I lost a, two, a fucking 2012 Camry last night playing. <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, it's those stupid things. Like, like again, going back to the glasses and stuff that you buy. It's like, man, you know what I do? Did I buy that? I, I don't know if anybody else shit. does this, uh, but anytime I lose big gambling, I immediately spend a lot of money right after, like just to like say. Fuck you, fuck you, gambling gods. I'm still gonna buy what I want. <laughs> like last night, you know what I did? I fucking I lost all this money. Bro, that is so your ego talking. Oh, it's so ego, right? Bro, I lost I lost all this money gambling last night. You're like and borderline American as, psycho. You're not killing as, people. As, yet, as soon as the UFC event ended that I lost money on, I went in bed. I pulled up my son's Christmas list and just finished them off. <laughs> I was like, I bought everything they wanted. Well, that's good because then you feel responsible. Number no, one. No, then I feel like fuck you, like. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, all right, God, I don't care if I lose. <laughs> I'm still going to spend money, bitch. You're, like, fighting this unknown force. <laughs> like, dude, I, when I was, you know, years ago when there was poker at Twin. Yeah. I can't believe I said years ago. Back back in the day when Twin had poker, I um I would have I'm, a losing. I'm hopeful s- that they're opening up again. I would have a losing session, and then I would just drive and Excuse me. call my girl and be like, what do you want to eat? Whatever restaurant you want right now, I'll pick it up. <laughs> I don't give a shit. We're going to spend a lot of money on food today. I just lost 800 bucks. Might as well double down on that. It might as well say, fuck you, God. I can still spend money. It yeah. makes no sense. I'm actually uh, the, the exact opposite when I lose like a nice chunk. It, it's not that I, I can't. It's just that, you know, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I have to. Everything's balanced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to like rationalize. Maybe true, I'll just true. fucking like, stay home for like, damn, just to I make just, me feel better. Damn, I just lost a lot of money playing poker. Definitely don't eat today. Don't eat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck Christmas. Well, I was Sorry, at, kids. I was at, Sorry, kids. I was, at the, I was at the woods last night, and every single thing I touched turned to fucking shit. But anyway, yeah. Speaking of shit, bro, I bought a bidet recently, a couple months ago. Bro. Yeah. Was it a midget with a Dude. mouthful of water and a straw? Dude. Here's what I'm going to say. If you don't, if after using the bidet a few times. Hey, listen. That's cool. I was done talking. <laughs> no, no, no. After using the bidet a I few I don't want to talk about bro, your asshole. You don't have to. Just listen. I don't want to listen after, about your asshole. After using the bidet a few times, it kind of disgusted me about the first 32 years of my life. I'm 33 now. All I could think about I was, I don't want bro, these like, images how, in my head right now. How was I cleaning myself before, bro? Because there's nothing like using a bidet. I don't care if you use toilet paper and wipes. It's not the same. You're right. It is the $10 rake. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm like, so right now, like, I know by talking to you, you don't use a bidet. So, like, right now, you're sitting at the, the podcast table in that chair. I wouldn't let you sit on my couch. Like, knowing you don't use a bidet, you're not sitting on my couch. You're not coming in my truck. What? What the you, fuck yeah, are you saying your right now? Your ass is not as clean as it should be, bro. Like, no what the is. fuck are you saying right now? I'm saying get a bidet. It'll be the best fucking my tissue $40 you ever spent, bro. But I am saying this. Don't sleep on the, the power settings of that thing. Don't go max power immediately. Hey, work your way, up. <laughs> work your way up to that shit. My first interaction with a bidet Yo, was was the actually first time I, I turned. I just figured, all right, full blast equals the cleanest ass. Yeah, turned it on full blast, bro. I was levitating on the toilet. Okay, stop it, stop <laughs> it, stop it. Stop <laughs> it, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> that shit came out way too fast. I was all like, right, ah! listen, the picture that's going on in my mind, I don't want it there. So please, <laughs> let's just like, I don't. Let's talk about some. Anyway, the first interaction I had with a bidet was actually in <laughs> Oman. It, oh my! Other, yeah, in, in the other side of the world, it's right next to Yemen, right? I'm I'm in this villa, uh, and but their bidets are on the, was like, this the side military of the toilet. Days? Yeah. Military? This Fucking is on the side of the toilet. Air Force, bro. Yeah. Air Force has bidets and shit. Every other branch is digging holes in the dirt. Bro, this wasn't an Air Force fucking Air Force villa. This was a uh, fucking bidets. <laughs> <laughs> this now, you know that running joke like that the Air Force has I know. easier than every other branch. Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's talking about bidets in wartime, bro. Well, they do have it Guys easier. Guys in the army are running around like duck, duck. Yeah, when you're like, ooh, this bidet is cold. When, when you're talking, to, when, yeah, when you're comparing to other s- sister branches, the Air Force does have it. Uh, well, easier is you know it's relative. It's like no, we're just smarter. Yeah, 
they get all the money because they do space exploration and all that stuff. And then, you know, Trump came out with Space Force. Space Force. <laughs> but my first interaction was a bidet was on the side of the toilet. Mm. It was, uh, you know, I thought yeah, it was a water fountain. Yeah, yeah, same, same, bro. <laughs> I've seen those bidets too. Yeah, it, it looks like a toilet with no lid or yes. like lid. Yeah, yes, that those are weird, bro. Because you got to sit yeah. on that; it's all weird, and you're just like, oh, like this water it tastes like hose comes out water so fast. <laughs> yeah, oh, the new bidet is nice, bro. You just attach it to your water shit, bro. Put it on your toilet, you're chilling. Yeah, but then your fucking starfish is wet. Well, then you wipe and dry it after, bro. You don't just yeah, then you get like wet. fucking shit on your. On your towels. Oh, that's a- He's like, yeah. Then your socks are real shitty, bro. <laughs> then your t-shirts. Like, all no, then you gotta up. keep buying your son new hoodies. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. In the service, when we were out in the field, when we were out in the woods, oh, course, if you had bro. the shit, man, like hey, I would just, you know, hey, you gotta shit out. You gotta use the bro. latrine. And I would, I would come back like out of the woods, and I wouldn't have like an undershirt on. Uh, undershirt, or you just find a female battle buddy with long hair, come here for sex. Mm. Especially a nice braid. That'll yeah. get the job done. Oh. That's like perfect, but if they use conditioner, you know, it doesn't even stick to their hair. Yeah, it slides right off. Yeah. How did we veer off into this conversation? <laughs> You're a sick fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to grab ice out of this bowl. It's nothing but water. So are you telling everybody here on uh, on our podcast that you don't wipe your ass? Oh uh, no. So what I do is I have a I have a system. <laughs> I have a system. <laughs> so I have I a do. value stream map. So I do. So I do I do three with three wipes with toilet paper. All right, then, let's change the subject. Then we I'm hit the sorry, no, 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 no. It's all right. Just know. listen. Three wipes with toilet paper. We hit the bidet. We turn the bidet off. Let it dry a bit. Hit the bidet again, and then one wipe with toilet paper. Golden. Yeah, bro. It's walking around my. I feel like my ass cheeks squeak. <laughs> it's so clean when you're done. I got a uh, pretty thin belt sander. <laughs> I just fucking stick my cheeks on the. Nah. Let's talk about something else. Jeez, what do we? What, is this is this what it come down to? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it come down to, bro. I'm just saying, man. All right, so another adult purchase that's fucking money in the bank, bro. That I never knew I needed. That's yeah. the thing. Bro. All right, so this is the subject right now. You don't need a bidet. things I never knew I needed. No, you need a bidet, bro. If not, I mean, if, if you you're got gonna a kitchen accept- sink with the like the extension <laughs> thing, that you can fucking. You're sick fuck, bro. <laughs> so if you're okay with having an almost clean ass, then you don't need a bidet. But if you want, you can clean money- your ass without a bidet. Same, bro. No, it's not. The, all right, let me ask you this. You get shit on your hands, and I give you a baby wipe. What is going if I on give you a baby wipe, are you going to feel like, all right, that's okay. I just took a baby wipe and wiped the shit off my hand. What? Would you say your hand's clean or not? Of course not. All right, you want to wash it. You want water blasting that shit. Why would you have shit on your hands? <laughs> Why would you just wipe dry paper or wipe with your ass? Like your ass? Well, I actually use the you're toilet bowl scrubber. You're t- <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I scrubbed that. All right, okay. <laughs> All right. So a couple of purchases. That's what this is a topic right now. All right. Purchases Not I never purchases knew I needed. That we need to buy. Didn't know I needed. Go ahead. One, bidet. Two, the adjustable mattress frame, bro. The adjustable bed that you can, you know, like lift your, your head or your feet up. Oh, right, right. right. Like you got a oh, hospital bed, bro? God. A so I, I snore a lot. You know, it, it has. It might have something to do with the neck fat, but I snore might? a lot, bro. <laughs> I snore a lot, what the bro. fuck, man? And it's like I get lower back pain. Might have something to do with the weight. In any case, yeah. bro, the adjustable, the temper, pe- the the frame, bro, the the moving base. Yeah. When I tell you, man, you can pitch the head part up, mm, fifteen degrees, sleep like a fuck. If you're a snorer, you don't snore anymore. I know, but you look over at your girl, and she's a side sleeper, and she's all crimped up in a fucking weird-ass way. <laughs> like, nah. Man. She's just right up there with me, like, not snoring either. She's like, baby, I'm so glad you're not snoring. I'm going to blow you. Now I got a full night's sleep. I'm excited. Well, shit, I want to sleep in your bed then. Hey, yeah, I'll have her sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> the other no, so thing, bro. You bought listen, a hospital bed. An adjustable bed frame, yes. Now, if you have any back pain, bro, <laughs> if you have any back pain. Listen, a lot yeah, of yeah, people yeah. don't realize... The, the compression on our spine all the time, oh, God, that I that see. that matters, dude. Like, you're always standing or sitting, meaning the bottom of your spine is always carrying the weight. You know what I mean? So oh, and I even feel when bad you for lay the bottom down, of my spine. Even when, yeah, me too, bro. I hate when it fucking just gets in my way. Even, like, when you're laying down, right, your spine is, like, decompressed, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, that horizontal way. You're n- it's not, like, hanging from your feet to right, right. the top of your spine. But with the adjustable shit, bro, you can pitch the feet way up. And you know what I'm saying? Like the the 
your legs are up in the air now and your spine is kind of going down. So you take a lot of that fucking pressure off the bottom of your spine. Do that for like 10 minutes in the morning. Dude, it's mm. money, bro. It's so where, so where are the stirrups? Uh, those are an added bonus. <laughs> it's like $30 <laughs> extra for that. <laughs> you elevate your feet. Doctors looking in your hole. So wait, that was number one, number two. What was number three? You said bidet, bed. Must have purchases. Um, all right, so listen, what's changed my life for the past couple of years? The bidet is definitely money. The bed, money. I don't know, man. I don't know if I agree with this list, but go ahead. You got anything you want to add to the list? George, you got anything? Nah, I'm kind of like simple when it like you know as long as I got clothes, shelter, and a fucking well, this you know, is, something to eat. But clean ass is not simple enough, bro. That's high tech for you or what? <laughs> high tech. <laughs> like, it's like, ah, ass cleanliness not on the list. <laughs> it's not on the list um, compared to like some other things. So, water, I guess, would be the the must have. <laughs> Speaking water. of water, man, I heard, well, I read that tap water you should never fucking drink. I always drink bottled it water. You should knocks. never fucking drink. Always drink. Healthy. I'm about to drink some right now. In fact, our water supply is turned to like complete shit. Where are you getting it's... your water, dog? Well, me personally, <laughs> you I just dehydrating. Where the no, fuck I you use a Brita water? filter and all that stuff. I I drink bottled water, but you just uh, said not to drink bottled water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I recently learned this. Like, and I'm I'm like, you know what? I started drinking coconut water. Like, now. Where do you Where do you get your water from? My bidet. <laughs> My bidet. That's right. <laughs> I started drinking coconut water now. Coconut water is good. I feel it like too like much shit. of it though makes me gag. You know what I mean? It's like too much of it. It's, it's like it tastes it's like, like Kellogg's. You know, like the milk after you uh, like a sweet cereal. Nah, That's nah, what it nah, tastes nah, like. Nah, nah. I feel like it's like if you it tastes like you're blowing a plant. It feels like it tastes like salt water, but like very little bit of salt. You know, you ever use salt water to rinse your mouth, but a tiny bit of salt, and it's like, oh, that, all right, no. bidet, adjustable bed frame. And a water flosser. Those water picks, you ever have the that? The water pick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so much better oh, than so floss. Oh, so that's something else that, that I've changed, too. So much too. better than floss, bro. So I don't use toothpaste with fluoride anymore. I use fucking, like, this all-natural, organic fucking essential oil bullshit. Dirt. Use dirt. Yeah. I am. Um, so my my Oil teeth, pulling. That's what it's called. Oil pulling. I have that shit upstairs. Yeah. I, um, so my teeth and gum health is actually something that has been top, top game recently. No more semen in it? No, no. We washed that out. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but yeah. So, uh, so the the I have a very strict teeth regimen twice a day. Is you hit it with a water pick? He said teeth regimen, <laughs> <laughs> teeth and gum regimen. You hit it with a water pick. That's everything, bro. That gets everything out. It's beautiful, and it gets under the gum line, which is nice because a lot of people neglect that. Probably been you know like now we got that solar money, bro. I'm going to the dentist all the time. <laughs> We're fucking getting braces. You're and like everything. every six months, book me. <laughs> yeah, bro. I've been to the dentist like four times in the last four months, bro. I'm actually going tomorrow. I have an appointment tomorrow, bro. Speaking of teeth, um, I'm trying to get fucking my teeth whitened through Kaylee Murphy's. I'm getting a. I don't know. Is this a? Who is Kaylee Murphy? All right, keep going. What are you saying? <laughs> you just say this name like I know this person. She works with us, bro. Come on, Corey brought her on. But oh, anyway, I'm supposed to know who works with us. Facts. All right, true. <laughs> Good point. All right, you got a point. Yeah, you know, Sasha last night. She's like, "Why did we go to the Christmas party?" I'm like, "I didn't even really know it was Christmas like, party." Because <laughs> I don't know what company I've been. I haven't been in that building in fucking eight months. I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Chris told me that's actually time. a good sign, bro. Yo, like, Chris, good for yeah, you, bro. Seriously, I was, to, I was talking to Chris the other day, and he's like, "Oh, did you know?" I was telling him about a deal somebody was trying to close, but they failed credit. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, cool. Did they run them on this?" I'm like, I'm "What like, is that?" I'm like, "Dividend? What the fuck is dividend?" He goes, "That's why you should come to the meetings." So I was like, "Just tell me what the fuck dividend." Is. <laughs> like, if there's another credit portal, we'll run them. Like, this is, that is not a reason to fucking go to the meeting. I right, 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 right. Like, Laham didn't send an email for that, bro. Where is it? Um. So, anyways, yeah, we wake up, we hit the water pick, bro. Yeah. Then we do the brush. I got the special toothpaste because I had recently I had a lot of dental work done. You know what I mean? Like I had a Did lot you? of shit. Yeah. What dude. do you mean, like uh, um, so surgery bro, like, type or no, 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 no? But but the step before that, like if this didn't work, I was gonna need surgery because, um, like sadly, dude, I never took care of my teeth. You know, in the past, so my teeth were in rough shape. More importantly, my gum health was in rough shape. All right. So Meaning, I, I want to just get this straight before you continue. Yeah. So okay. you thought about your asshole before your teeth. Yes. You're like, hey, I need, <laughs> I need a bidet before I need a. I've heard of colon cancer. Your priorities I've never heard of up. teeth cancer. Touche. All right, continue. 
So <laughs> I concede. Go like ahead. I, like I'd, I'd rather have surgery on my teeth than my asshole. Like if it came down to it. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like, if something's going wrong, I'd rather fix my mouth than fix my ass. <laughs> so anyways, bro. I'm not even going to dive into that, but go ahead. So yeah, so yeah dude. So, like, I, I just, I didn't really take care. But not only was I not seeing a dentist regularly, yeah, I wasn't brushing enough, bro. And, I like, tartar and plaque buildup got real bad. So finally, like, I... Uh, this like, sounds like a commercial. Like, a year, a year ago, bro, like, I bought my own health insurance because I didn't have health insurance. Yeah. I didn't learn any of that. So I had it. I'm like, all right, let me go see a dentist, dude. And what they did was they had to to basically pull my gums back and clean under the gum line and break up all this bullshit. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. like use a basically an adhesive to get my gums to stick to the tooth again. So this was all you uh, know, like, yeah, months and months ago, bro. So now I'm like fucking. So you like deep into your fucking yeah, dude. Gum they, line. they had to like you know like half my mouth one day, Excuse me. a week later half my mouth. They had to numb me up and all this nonsense, blood, blood everywhere is a mess. But now, dude, like you know, like a month or so later. Everything is like money in the bank, dude. My gums and teeth are super healthy, so I'm like an addict. You know what I mean? Right. Like that's why I'm like, oh, my teeth regimen. Like I do this, then I use this toothpaste, then I use this mouthwash. Hey, so man. every morning yeah. I feel like fucking like I'm, I'm even with all the gaps in my teeth, I'm super confident when I smile, when I talk. Of course, it wasn't like that before. I'd laugh and be like, ha ha ha, you know, because like you could see like tartar and plaque, bro, and it's like yeah. that. That's always like, bro. Everybody looks. At you your know, mouth. it's there, right? You know, it's there. everybody looks at your mouth. Everybody sees your yeah. teeth. You know, and it's like it's one of those things where you could even have good teeth. Like you have a good teeth, you have a nice smile. Do I? But when you start uh, talking about you. it, you'll see people go like, mm. you know? "You're just worried." Any like little piece of Cheeto dust, bro, is noticeable. So Cheeto I'm, dust, just anything, bro. I'm just saying how vulnerable it feels when you, people are looking at your mouth. Yeah, of course. So like the fact that that's done that's like one of the like, first things they see. Exactly, dude. So uh, yeah, they so don't I'm see your asshole. About that. <laughs> eh, it depends who you hang with. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what night it is. <laughs> depends or how kind of poker game you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that it depends how stuck you are. Yeah, like it depends <laughs> what the rake is. <laughs> what kind of rake is? It? I mean, you played with me recently, bro. I was half naked, dude. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about, bro? You fucking shocked know, the bro. shit out of me. I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyways, man. So like, I I go to the dentist tomorrow. They're gonna just like check, make sure the progress is good. Good. Yeah. And then, bro, like I'm, I'm probably gonna have braces for a while. Uh, why not like the Invisalign or whatever that so shit it's is? F- it's funny you say that, but a good friend of mine is I our I age. That, and my he, shit's all. Like... Ha- oh, you know him. Um, yeah, it's Margaret. I won't say his last name. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, right yeah, 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 right. Um, so he, he's good got guy. Braces. Hey, yeah, what up, man? He's a G. Yeah, he's got, and I asked him about the Invisalign. Why he used that? He told me no, he's got braces. Oh, I oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I asked him, I'm like, why didn't oh, you Oh yeah, go it did cut me once. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> why don't you uh, Love you, Ed. Why kidding. don't I'm like, why don't you have Invisalign? And he explained to me, he's like, Hey man, the doctor explained braces to me, like braces like set it and forget it. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm gonna put them on, we'll see you in six months. The Invisalign, I, apparently you have to like every time you eat, yeah, you have to take it out, you eat, then you brush your teeth and you put them back in. So his thought was like, I know that I'm not that disciplined. And I eat on the go a lot, so to actually like eat lunch at work, eat dinner at work, or breakfast on the road, to have to like stop and brush my teeth before I put them back in, he's like, I feel like I'm gonna take them out, not put them back in, and it's not gonna give me the effect that it needed. You know what I mean? So he was like, I know I don't have the discipline. I'm just gonna go with the braces. Wow, you know why he just got sold on braces because doctors get that kickback. Oh man, they don't I, get a kickback on braces. Invisalign is more expensive. No, I'm saying, well, it might be, but I'm saying oh, like the doctors don't get, don't get a kickback. How do you know? Are you just saying that? Yeah. <laughs> George, look up exactly how much doctors get kicked well, back when they sell it. <laughs> the only reason why I'm just saying that is because I've never been George, to a dentist. Look up Filipino teenage boy penis, please. No, <laughs> let's change the subject. Let's talk about bidets. Uh, anyway, what a, no. <laughs> what does <a> sentient mean? <laughs> the, the reason why. The reason Hold why. I'm, Jacobs, <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck about your definition. I want to see what the real definition. Is. Like George, show me on Google. Means- <laughs> Oh, no, but the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, I've never been to a dentist that, you know, ever suggested Invisalign or anything like that. They all Braces have been around since, like, the 80s, so they when's must the, get a kickback. When's back. the last time a dentist talked to you about braces, bro? For my, I'm not, not, not even for me. I'm, I'm saying for my daughter. You personally. Or for your daughter. Like, right, right. When yeah. is the last time a dentist spoke to you? The last time you, she was at the dentist. Which was when? 
But can they do Invisalign for kids? Because don't they, do they? Does she have all her full grown grown teeth? No, they can't until they, she has her phone grown. That's what I'm saying. Teeth, so that's so. probably why they don't talk about yeah. it, bro. That's nothing to do with the kickback, you buffoon. Everything has everything to do with kickbacks. I'll kick you back right now. <laughs> <laughs> they will not suggest anything unless they're getting paid for it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no shit, bro. That's why they're always trying to pump kids full of fucking ADHD pills and shit. All right. All right. <laughs> Good segue. Get away from me, kid. <laughs> yeah. So why'd you stop the podcast originally? <laughs> <laughs> it was because of the fucking rake. The rake was too high. You know, we need George a big clock to see how we're going. Remember, George used to give us a wrap it up signal. We'd be like, what? Are you? <laughs> we'll how deep are we right, right now? But the, the, no, but the difference is like an George, hour 30. Damn. The difference really? is George, he was forced to tell us to wrap it up because the computer started shaking and shit, getting waves in it. Like our hardware was just shutting down. Bro, I didn't even. We're an hour 30 in already? I felt like 20 minutes. Yeah, when you're having fun, time flies. Yeah, it feels like forever to me. I'm just over here carrying the conversation. That's why we need you, bro. So you know what's cool, though? Um, This is going to sound a bit cheesy. Obviously, you you know these things already, but over the past year or so, and being in Smart Green and, you know, this new career has enabled me to do Shout some out to Smart Green. Are, yeah, sure. Um, Their profits are high enough. Um, Just, like, gave me a lot more free time to, to pursue things that I love, not monetarily you know what i mean like guitar singing um yeah the things that you want to do yeah things that i want to do man and that's been pretty rewarding bro that's been cool right, thank you, you, you for sharing that <laughs> yeah i thought that was gonna go further i thought that was gonna go further not gonna lie i thought it was gonna i thought we were gonna get like a call in or something and be like, oh, so <laughs> tell me about the guitar like, Look, so now we can it. take call-ins man what's our number somebody call us no we can't do it now um four four oh one we we need a new hotline. We're gonna, I guess we're gonna have to pay for a phone number, like a. No, bro. They can just call us, dude. We connect to the thing. It's Bluetooth. Boom. They call in. You want to test it now? Should we test it? It's episode one. Is it worth testing, George? George is like, no, nah, everything's bro, perfect. Like somebody call us. It's Don't put it's me George. Spot like George calls us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is fucking awesome doing this again. I mean, are we we're kind of at that point, right? I mean, yeah, we can we can wrap it up. Cilantro, cilantro. We can wrap it up. I can't wait um, to have our our first guest. Yeah, we know? have guests. The other thing too that I was thinking that we should do is um, we had a couple of advertisers right that were yep. working with us before, and then we kind of stopped. Yep. I think in good faith, maybe like three episodes, we just we'll give them back to everybody on the house. Yeah, yeah absolutely, you know I mean? absolutely. Um, I'm down with that. J and W. Yeah, tops. And we have the um, DDP. We have the technology to now to do much better ads. Yeah, you know, much better ads. Totally down for that. Want. Division but, uh, Street, you know, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll give them all Cambio, got, especially now, bro. It's better for him. He's got. His Does own he have his own shop shit now? now? Yeah, he's got his own shop, bro. Oh, where's it at? Because maybe I'll come um, visit. Bro, go go see him. He's on. Um... <laughs> don't fucking know. Wow, <laughs> I, just, I, just <laughs> I don't know. I don't go to him. Bro. Cambio's cuts. Pull him up real quick, bro. Pull him up. Cambio's cuts. He's in North Providence. I want to say on Putnam Pike. Maybe on Putnam Pike. He's on Putnam Pike in North Providence. Man, is sick. Bro, I can go in his barbershop. I mean, he cuts me every week, but at every, yeah. anytime something is off, like maybe I have to reschedule or something if he's unavailable. He gets you in? Anybody in his shop. I mean, he gets me in, bro, because like I'm. he calls me MVC, most valuable client. Really? I overpay big time. But I do it for, for like, you know, if I'm in a pinch. They yeah, yeah, pay. absolutely, absolutely. Um, but I don't know. I'm pretty loyal nasty, to my, like, barber right yeah, now. I mean, I'm going to take your hat off real quick. Nah, chill, I'm bro. telling you right now, you shouldn't be. You should go see Cambio. <laughs> uh, anybody in the shop, Cambio, Ivan, Mikey, Justin, Manny, the Manny Fresh, like they're all nasty barbers, bro. He's the only dude that's cut my hair, unless it was one of his guys, in maybe the last 10 years. Yeah. Um. So it actually worked out better for him, because before we were just advertising for him as a barber, working for somebody else. Right. Now he's got his own shop, you know, so we'll hook him up. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, shout out to him, but remember that episode? <laughs> It was like, I was talking about his dick on my elbow, and for some reason you got up and did like a little gyration of the hip. <laughs> did a, I? That I was a good clip. Yeah, we clipped it. We clipped it. But uh, yeah, we ready to wrap this up? Or you got anything else you want to say? Oh man. I got, I got tons of shit to say. I can do this all fucking night. Then why did you say we're coming to that time, bro? You basically like segued the end. I don't you know. You segued I, the end, bro. I felt your leg touching my, my leg. That bro. wasn't my leg. 
<laughs> that wasn't my leg either. <laughs> um, all right, cool. If you can keep it going, I'm all in. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Now I feel like it's forced. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely worse. I just need you to confirm we wrap it up. I don't want to like, I don't want to big dick you right here. We good? Oh yeah, whatever. All right, guys. Let's edit. Thanks for listening. Uh, cue outro music. We love you, you prob- guys. You probably should have had outro music. Do we have outro music? Yeah. Hey, oh, thanks everybody for man. listening. Catch us next week. <laughs> so long, farewell. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come again. <laughs> bye bye. Just hit stop recording, please. I'm embarrassed. <laughs>